What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the video blog one more time, the Hoxton Trent. Guys, as you know last week I've done a video on the weekly buys. Um, I bought a whole bunch of jeans from a place called Brand Outlet and they're a really cool um, place to be buying stuff online. They usually do stuff for discount prices. Um, yeah, they, they basically get lots of different brands in and they just do like a discount on lots of brands and they're 100% legit. I've bought stuff from there before and I think they're really cool. What it was is that um, I got the box here and I said, you know what, let me do the unboxing with you guys because I was just about to try on all the jeans and do a video of me trying on the jeans. But I thought, let me guys show you the the um, unboxing because the way these guys have prepared the items I think is really, really nice. As you can see here, they got the black um, tissue paper and yeah, everything was just really well wrapped, man. I mean, look at that. Seriously, the time that they put to wrap that, it's really good to see stuff like that because sometimes you buy some expensive tough stuff and they don't really wrap it up too nicely. So I was really chuffed to see all of this, man. So I'm just going to open it live in front of you guys. Haven't even opened it. It came in last week. But I said, you know what, I'll wait for you guys. I'll wait to do the video so I can show you guys. So that's one of the brands, as you can see right there, black denim, really cool. Um, please note, returns will only be accepted if this tag remains attached. So yeah, just feeling these first off, they feel really nice, they feel really cool. Just looking at the denim. I can see with these already though that if these will bleed, man, sometimes you can look at the denim and you can see that some bits are light, some bits are a bit dark, and some bits that the, the dye just seems to really build up in certain areas, then it goes off here. That to me, that's, that's just my opinion, but that's an indication that this could um, bleed. Um, sometimes you wear jeans and you've got a white top, and then you start seeing the marks start to come off on the white top. Or even more annoyingly, if you've got some trainers, white trainers, sometimes the bottom here might bleed under the trainers and you get a bit of dye on the trainers, which is annoying. But um, we'll look into that into more detail. But yeah, that's uh, that's the black denim NYC jeans, as you can see there, really nice. I'm gonna have a look at those. That's one, to make the stuff look really presentable. Um, these are the jeans I was telling you about in that video, they're called PRPS. I love the um, logo on that, you can see it's got the angel with the uh, with the bad arm there or the bad foot, so he's, he looks a bit injured, but yeah, I think he's a really cool pair of denim jeans. Even got a bit of tissue paper from PRPS. We used to sell PRPS back in Selfridges um, back in the day, which is the reason why I've got this brand in, because I just remember them being very cool. And this was a nice price, man. These were um, 68 and these usually retail for something like 250 guys. So these are quite expensive pair of denim jeans. A lot of you lot have been saying, Huxton, man, when are you going to do some denim jeans? So yeah, just thought I'd buy some. I'm looking for some new jeans myself. Um, I've got tons and tons of jeans, man, myself, but I want to change up my selection. I might be selling my, some of my old bits, get some new stuff in. Um, so this is the brand here that I was telling you about, it's called New, N-E-U-W, New Jeans, Slim Fit Jeans here, bam, got these, look at the way they've crum crumpled them man, I think they wanted to get that kind of effect at the bottom there, and uh, can see the stitching's a bit different there as you can see, but yeah, looks really nice, I'm looking forward to trying all of these on and seeing what they're saying, so I think I bought, is it four pairs of jeans? Five pairs of jeans, yo. I was getting on nuts. Whoop. Bam. That's the needy jeans right there with the nice level um, label, as you can see. Bam. Needy jeans, yo. Now, the only thing is, I'm looking at the colour and I'm wondering because I've got a pair of needy jeans here. I'm just wondering. Okay, cool. <laughs> Getting a bit worried there. Special guest appearance on this one, guys. Got some needy jeans here, as you can see. These are my own slim, slim fit pair of jeans. You can see the badge is a bit different there. So yeah, glad that they're a bit of a different wash. It almost looks like a grey, grey blue type wash. But yeah, gonna be trying those on. These should be a slim fit. You can see all in there. You got the tags and everything showing you the length and the weight. So that means that means this one should be the Edwin jeans. So yeah, let's have a look. That's the Edwin jeans right there. When I was over in Berlin, I went into the um, Edwin store. I was talking to them for quite a while and they were just telling me everything about Edwin. That's a Japanese denim brand that they're really cool. And yeah, um, 
I really like the look of this man. I've never had a pair of Edwin jeans in before, but I've always known how good they are from Salfridges. So yeah, looking to quite excited to try these on. Now someone on the um, YouTube said that these might be too, that the fit might, be, might not be too good for me because it's an ED55 relaxed tapered. And they were like, Hoxton man, this one might not be for you. We know you like slim fit. So let me just try those anyway. Let me see what they're saying. So that's everything there guys. That's all the stuff. And obviously I've got that Puma um, X um, Steve McQueen collaboration as you can see right there. Bam, look at that. How cool is that? Wow. There we go, that's them right there guys. So I will be trying these on. I'm gonna be trying these on with the uh, with the jeans, but yeah, that's the Puma. Um, Steve, um, sorry, Alexander McQueen. Trainers with the Puma there, really nice. Even the box is really cool as well. You can see right there. I think these retail for 90 or something, or 110, and they went down to 68. Uh, was it 68? No, tell like it went down to 60, which I thought was really cool price. But guys, let me. Um, what I'm going to do is let me prep myself up properly. Let me get all these jeans done, and let me tell you about each of these jeans individually. Okay. That's it for the minute guys, looks an absolute mess here man, so just clear all this mess up, back in a second, okay, in a bit. But what I should do is let's, let's have a look at some different pairs of jeans, let's see what's out there, let's see what's popping, okay. So one of the first jeans I wanted to show you guys is this one right here, it's called New new jeans n-e-u-w and these are a really cool pair of jeans this one man uh, they are an australian denim jean launched in 2005 they use special construction techniques to put the um, denim jeans together and actually when i tried these jeans on when i first took this out of the pack um the bottom of the jeans was all kind of scrunched up and then when i when i opened it up it was kind of nice it had this kind of scrunch um fit to the bottom of it which i really liked I f my first opinions was it uh, was i thought it was quite thin um compared to some of the other jeans but when i tried them on i just thought they were so nice they felt really comfortable on so yeah really feeling these jeans man i was actually quite surprised at how good these jeans were new jeans are big in australia they're big in places like japan sweden they're not really too big over here in the uk um so People here haven't really cottoned on. They seemed very similar to Neely jeans, to be honest with you. Um, they, the jeans were very comfortable. They, as I said, they were a little bit thin, but then again, they are a summer drop. And the price range for these denim jeans are about between 100 and 200 quid. However, I've seen a lot of, um, I've seen a lot of this stuff on sale over on Coggles, and I've seen this, these on sale, obviously, where I bought them from, which was the brand outlet, okay? There's four different types of fit. There's the Iggy Skinny, the Loose Slim, Hell Skinny, and the Studio Relax. I got the Loose Skinny right there, or the Loose Slim. Feeling these ones, guys. Got some nice detailing all the way through. This reminds me of um, True Religion. True Religion sometimes do um, fix stitching like that as well. Um, all the... Um, all the studs are embroidered with new it's got this little kind of link there i guess if you want to hang your keys or something like that you can hang them there um they are a button-up um jeans so they're not zip i do like my button-up um jeans designed in australia but look they're actually made in china but that's not that's not such a that is not such a problem at all. So it's 98% cotton, 2% elastane, which makes sense because they did have a bit of a stretch feel to it, man, which I really, really liked. So yeah, definitely gonna be keeping these ones, guys. This one is gonna be for me. That's that one. Bam, let's move on to the second one. Let's look at this black denim jeans right here. Black Denim Jeans uh, was founded in 2011 by a chap called Johan Limburg. Johan Limburg was the director for Diesel over in the early 90s. He then left Diesel and set up his own brand, Jay Limburg. I know a lot of you guys would know about Jay Limburg already. He's also the creative director for Justin Timberlake's brand, William Rust. So the guy that made these jeans has got a lot of experience in the fashion industry, obviously working for Diesel, he's got a lot of experience in there. And we all heard of Jay Limburg, very, very popular brand. Price ranges for this denim is something between 100 and 200 pounds. Um, the fit was really nice. Um, what I didn't like about this is I thought the denim, I thought the dye for me was a little bit thick. I just felt like the dye here would just, I just felt like it would bleed if I'm to be honest with you. I wouldn't want to wear these um, denims with a white pair of trainers or a colorful pair of trainers and then what happens is, um, 
the dye will start to come off onto the trainers or I've got, had like jackets where the dye starts to come off onto the jacket. Um, the dye around here sometimes comes off to the jacket. Um, I don't know if it would do that in, with these jeans. I'm not saying these jeans would do that, but I'm just looking at the material and that's what my opinion is. It might well do that. So that would just put me off. I just find that the dye is just too thick. I mean, here you can see there's a really big, thick patch of dye and there it's a bit faded. I don't know about these ones. Um, I think these ones are gonna be going back. Um, I didn't think there was anything overly special about these jeans as well. I mean, yeah, all the studs are um, engraved with black denim there. You can see the logo up in there, got black denim. Um, let's see what they're made of. This is 100% cotton and made in Turkey, as you can see. So yeah, black denim, um, very, very popular Dean though, very popular, um, very popular in Japan, very popular over in um, uh, Europe as well, and the States, obviously extremely popular since it's a New York denim brand. So yeah, that one's gonna be a no-no for me, guys. Um, the other one I wanna look at is Edwin jeans, man. I'd I've never had a pair of Edwin jeans, but I've always known about Edwin jeans from when I was working in Selfridges. But what it was is that when I jumped over to um, Berlin, I actually went into the Edwin store and I was speaking to the guy there for a while and he was breaking everything down about Edwin jeans. Um, Edwin jeans is uh, it's, it's steeped in history, man. It's a true vintage um, denim brand. It was started in 1947. These guys are very, very well known in the denim um, denim circles. They've got different types of techniques to make the denim look faded and worn so yeah they, they are known for that guys very very cool um, they've got quite a few different fits I think they've got eight different fits all together I've got what a fit here and it's called the ED uh, ED 55 relaxed tapered fit and someone even said that yeah Hoxton man we're not sure if the ED 55 is going to be okay for you but I tried it on and to be honest with you I really really liked it and one of the things that I noticed about the denim is it was quite thick it was quite a nice feeling they, they try to use really high quality denim these guys um yeah very cool so that's Edwin guys Edwin jeans but there's lots of detailing throughout you can see they've got a little E there on the side got a stitch on the patch there almost reminds me of a Vizu a little bit Got the badge there, the Edwin. All the reverse of the studs are all engraved, so that's good to see as well. We can see there it says Edwin, does it say cotton? Edwin Cotton, yeah. Edwin Co Limited, it says there, and all the other brands, all the other buttons are also engraved there, as you can see. So yeah, nice, really nice day in this one. I was really surprised at how good the quality of these ones were, and I was even expecting the fit to be a little bit more, um, I was even expecting the fit to be a bit more loose, but for me, it, it ended up like a nice, regular, but slim fit. It was in between a regular and slim fit, which was very cool. So yeah, that one's gonna be a keeper for me. That's all good. The other one that I've got here, guys, is PRPS. Now, PRPS, we had this brand. I remember when I was working in Selfridges, we had this brand, and I remember they were selling for ridiculous amounts of money, man. Very, very expensive. Um, PRPS is actually a New York brand. Um, you can see the logo there. I really like the logo. I think it's really cool. PRPS. Their, their logo is actually, um, their slogan is actually uh, bruised, but never broken. That's their, uh, that's their slogan, which I think is quite cool. They're a New York brand. They were launched in 2002 by the former Nike designer Don Juan Harrell. They get their cotton from Zimbabwe and Japan. Um, and what's good about these guys, denim is actually made in Japan. And over in Japan, they still use the old 1960s looms that they use for Levi's to make their denim jeans. So they, they're using like an old style technique to make their denim jeans, which is really cool. Um, yeah, PRPS, some of their jeans can go up to 800 pounds, man. Some of these jeans can be really, really expensive from this brand. Um, again, I got this from Brand Outlet. I think I paid like 70 for it. I think that's a really good price for something like this. The quality is so nice. They do, they do tend to do some designs which can be a bit crazy. If you look them up, you'll see some jeans that had like paint splattered all over it or rips and holes, so they can go a bit crazy. Me, when it comes to jeans, I just really type 
tensile like the plain stuff even all the stuff with the lines here going across that can be a little bit too much for me sometimes for me with denim jeans i just like a nice weight to it even if it's a summer jean i still want a nice weight i do not like denim jeans which are too thin i want a nice weight to it and this has a nice weight to it it's got a bit of distressing going through as well which is absolutely fine but yeah when it comes to jeans i like a straight fit good quality and um yeah, a nice slim fit on the leg. That's just me personally. Definitely worth checking these out, guys, because they're a really cool brand. And for the price that brand outlet was selling them, I think they're really cool. This one, when I tried them on, I really liked it. The quality was really good. It fit was really good. But I'm just not too sure about these. So I'm going to put those in the middle. Not too sure. Bam, the jeans that I always wear, man. And I love these. I love these Nudie jeans. Nudie jeans are actually, they're a Swedish brand. Um... And they're really cool. And one of the big things about one of the big things about Nudie jeans is that they use organic cotton. So I've, I was thinking, okay, that's really cool that they use organic cotton. But what does that actually mean? Organic cotton, according to the Soil Association, is better for farm environments. It's better for um, farm. It's better for workers in the developing world. It avoids GM. 30% of all cotton is GM and can pose a risk to wildlife and human health. It does not use harmful manufacturing chemicals. Factory conditions are higher when companies use organic cotton. And the end garments are residue free. Check this out guys. I keep telling you guys about the fakes and stuff and the, the different um, materials that they use and the dyes and stuff like that can be harmful for you. So check this out because I just found this out today. Apparently tests on conventional clothing had revealed traces of pesticides, fire retardants and toxic allergies. These toxins can be inhaled and absorbed through the skin and can cause allergies, rashes and also respiratory problems guys so this is what i'm saying man some of this stone island stuff when you're seeing it and it's coming directly from china and it's fake we don't know what they're putting in the dyes on some of this stuff we don't know what they're doing what chemicals they they, they put on that on onto the items and according to the soil association and I, I i i totally believe what they're saying you know when you put chemicals on this remember it is sitting on your skin for a long period of time man so it's going to sit on your skin and whatever you put on your skin for too long it's, it's going to absorb it a little bit i mean imagine if you're wearing a dyed item um and it rains and then some of the water's getting on your skin your skin's going to be absorbing that it might sound silly to you guys or it might sound a bit far-fetched but you know when these counterfeiters are making their stuff i do not trust them as far as i can throw them so just again beware when you're buying um, counterfeit stuff guys beware if, if at all just just avoid it in my opinion but yeah denim jeans are really nice so comfortable i love the fit on these the only issue that i have on this and maybe i'm just not washing it right but sometimes when you wash them they can um the material can become really thin really quick that's what i've personally found when i've had a few nudie jeans so that's my only issue the price range for something like this can go anywhere between um 70 to 180 pounds but to be honest with you more time i always pick up nudie jeans for about 50 to 70 pounds I always find these on sale. I always wait and find them on sale. But yeah, nudie jeans, guys. Keep on banging on about them. I just think the, I just think the brand is really cool. Uh, I just like the fits and the different styles that they have. So yeah, that's that. So guys, that's it for the denim review, man. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you found it informative. A lot of you've been saying, Huxton, man, when are you going to start doing some denim jeans? When are you going to start showing us um, what jeans you're picking up for the summer? So bam, guys. These are the jeans that I'm going to stick with right here. Definitely going to keep these three jeans. The PRPS, not too sure about that one. And the black denim, that's definitely going back. Guys, what you can do, you can jump over to Brand Outlet. They, um, they've got all these jeans. They're all on sale. So it's definitely worth checking it out. Um, you can also jump onto the Idle Man because the Idle Man do nudie jeans. And I believe they also do... Um, Edwin as well and remember guys you can get five pounds um, you can claim back and five pounds off your next order from the idle man all you gotta do is go to the description box below and you'll get five follow the information that I've set out for you you'll get five pounds guys if you spend over 30 quid you will get a fiver okay so that will go towards your purchase so that's that guys hope you found it informative um, I'm gonna be doing the Marstrom CP company weekly buys I'll probably end up doing that tomorrow so yeah that's coming and also got the rest of the Frankfurt videos I've also got the Berlin street tours and I've also I've also got a hanging with the Hoxton video where I go down to the um, Supreme store as well